Hi everyone and welcome to your Venus going into Cancer tarot reading. All signs are time stamped below so if you are not interested in hearing any information about Venus moving into Cancer just go ahead to your time stamp below for your sign to get your oracle card about this but for the rest of you um, who are interested you've probably noticed a shift in the overall energy that everybody has been dealing with like that heaviness has, has lifted a little bit Venus went into Cancer on the 19th and I absolutely meant to get this out sooner but as you guys know I've been dealing with some medical issues so um, I did want to get a video out for this though because the energy has shifted and Cancer is the ruler of the fourth house of the zodiac which is you know home and family nurturing unconditional love your roots things like that so overall generalized we have this softer energy in the fourth house okay so everybody is feeling that you know you you might be feeling more nurturing more forgiving softer not as quick to be irritated things like that the energy has really shifted now depending on where cancer is in your zodiac wheel it's going to say a lot about where you are filling this energy specifically aside the overall fourth house energy that everybody is experiencing and um, Venus will be in cancer until the 12th of June I believe and then it moves into Leo which is going to be a completely different um, energy than what we are experiencing right now because Leo is fifth house you know all that romance and fire and passion and creativity and fun you know that type of energy so Venus sitting in Cancer right now is to soothe your soul you know where do you need healing where do you need release because that's what this energy is really about especially in regards to like your family members your home itself you know energy can be really shifted and cleaned up with Venus and Cancer so you know check your natal chart see where it is for you so that you can understand the oracle card that I'm about to pull you know it's gonna speak to where cancer is in your natal chart and tell you that is the energy and area of your life that you can have healing if you so choose because everything is a choice even though these energies are offered to us it's really our own personal choice on you know what we do with those energies so the Oracle card that I'm gonna pull for each sign I'm gonna pull um, a Gaia Oracle and to me my intention for this is this is the energy being offered to you by the universe with Venus moving into cancer so this energy will be with you until Venus moves into Leo all right so I will start with Sagittarius if you are not Sagittarius, go ahead to the timestamp below this video for your sign. All right, hi Sagittarius. Let's see what energy Gaia has for you while Venus is in Cancer. What area of your life can be healed? What is being offered to you specifically? Okay, ooh, nice. We like this card. We like this card, Sagittarius. Yes, jewel within a teardrop. Appreciation, spiritual and emotional reconnection. So with this right here, Sagittarius, um, especially with family members or close friends, because remember, we have that overall element of fourth house energy because that's what cancer rules. Um, this is saying tears of sadness now turn into tears of happiness okay so real strong energy for Sagittarius to heal family relationships like people are open to reconnecting with you okay but with this it's like it's a deeper relationship and connection than ever before but also with this 
uh, some of you, there's a new person coming into your life or somebody returning into your life. And there's this reconnection here, but it's a, it's a deeper, more intense connection than what you shared before. This is spiritual, okay? It's a spiritual connection. And uh, the emotions are equal in you and the other person. So relationships are highlighted for Sagittarius with the card that has come out for you guys from Gaia, okay? It's, we don't have to be sad. We don't have to be holding grudges. We don't have to be at odds with each other. It's really like if you lay down your weapons and say, I surrender, everybody else is going to surrender with you because you got to know everybody's experiencing this Venus and Cancer energy, right? All of us are. So people are more open for forgiveness, for mending bridges, for letting things go. It's just like this pure energy of the soul. I, I don't even know how to capture it in words. All right. It's just for Sagittarius, Jewel Within a Teardrop beautiful card for Venus into Cancer. Ultimate healing of all relationships. And, you know, some relationships that you cannot heal physically, like you and the other person, you're like, there's no way that we will ever speak again. You have it in you, the energy being offered to you to just heal that within yourself over this, you know, cycle until the 12th or 13th because of June. Because this, remember, this energy of this card moves with you until Venus moves into Leo. So, something really special is unfolding for Sagittarius over these next couple weeks with this Venus energy in Cancer. And, um, you know, with this, it, especially those of you that have cancer in your 5th, 7th, or 8th house, uh, very well could be a new romance coming in that's going to be just lovely, connected in the right ways, spiritually and emotionally. It, it's not so much about, um, you know, what you have or, or what you don't have. It's nothing like that. This is a meeting of the souls. Uh, it's just something that happens. Like, you don't force it. It just happens. So, if you feel like you want to mend bridges, do it. All right? That energy is here. If people are reaching out to you, allow the healing. It doesn't mean that everybody that you are making mends with has to be back in your life up close and personal. It just means that you've cleared the air, you're letting it go, you're releasing yourself from the sadness, from the misery, and you're moving forward. And I feel like for many of you, this is an easier process because there's just this beautiful connection unfolding in your life, whether it's just with yourself, with the universe, um, with another person. There's just something going on in Sagittarius and a big release. And biggest message, tears of sadness are now turning in to tears of happiness and joy. So, Sagittarius, that is your card for Cancer and Venus. I do hope this has helped, and I'm wishing you guys all the best. Take care. <clears throat> okay, hello Capricorn. Let's see what energy is being offered to you guys with the Venus moving into Cancer. And remember, this energy is with you until Venus moves into Leo on the 13th of June. Okay, so Capricorn. Ooh, we have the search. Feeling lost, confused, and lonely. And so with this energy right here, to me, this is where you're being offered healing is right here so it doesn't matter you could be a part of a big family you could have a lot of friends you could even be in a romantic partnership and still feel very lonely and isolated and disconnected right so for capricorn this 
you if you've been feeling as though you're more observing you're not really participating in life um, it's not to say that you're not you know getting up going to your job interacting with your family interacting with your friends you know doing everything you need to do but it's like this element of you know I don't even want to say not fitting in I don't feel like that's it I mean for some of you I'm sure that could be the case but it's like where's my place in life everything's going okay but where is my true place in life what is this all about you know where am I headed what do I want who am I with is this the person I want to be with forever are me and this person really compatible you know there's Capricorns of many different ages that will view this so what this means for each and every one of you is a very different feeling within yourself but this coming out for you guys is saying with you know Venus moving into cancer you can heal this energy you can find the clarity where there's confusion you can you know balance your energy field enough so that you can vibrate with the true essence of who you are which allows you to connect to others who are of that same vibration as you which will ease that achiness that lonely feeling inside because I really feel the spectrum of this is so vast um, very vast like some of you it's uh, this is a very spiritual thing where you have you know awakened inside um, spiritually consciously and you're feeling really disconnected from everybody in your life it's like where do I fit in now like you know I feel different I have different interests I want to talk about these spiritual matters and nobody cares like where do I fit in what's the point of a spiritual awakening if there's nobody to share it with right listen go within allow the Venus energy to heal you from the inside out is very nurturing think of a mother okay a mother holding her infant in her arms nurturing it feeding it protecting it that's the energy all around you that the universe is offering you every single hurt every single heartache can be eased away yes that simply that simply it's all about energy and when we are ready to make that shift and you know sometimes we do have to uh, carry something with us for a while you know and that's just part of the journey it doesn't mean it's never gonna lift but while it's with us it's there to teach us something so you know some of you this is very spiritual where you're feeling kind of lost others of you this is like just in life um, your like career choice maybe who you're with just the way life has been playing out and the way you see it you know where you see it headed you're like I don't know if that is it for me it's um, some of you it's just like this big like brrr, like slam on the brakes I've been going 60 miles an hour down this highway and paying no mind to my destination and all of a sudden it's just hit me where where's my destination where am I headed you know what is it that I want out of life so really look in your natal chart to see where cancer is which house that is for you because where this feeling confused lost unsure that's where it's really playing out if this is if, if you're a first house um, Venus your Venus is in your first house of self this is all about you if it's uh, you know cancer is your second house it's all about your resources right if it's your third house what are do you need to learn something new is it time to learn something new if you are a fourth house uh, your cancer is in fourth house big strong um, on your family and your place within the family and everybody's place within you you know fifth seventh or eighth house could all be about romance sixth house is you know your place in the world which you're giving out to the world and ninth house is that higher learning that spirituality I just talked about tenth house is career you know 
and uh, your status in the world, 11th house is your wishes, right? And 12th house is like that ultimate, the karma, the completion. So where your cancer is in your particular uh, zodiac will is really going to play where this is uh, just super highlighted for you guys. But this coming out is saying, look, you can heal this. There, the clarity can come in, the opportunities, the answers, all of that between now and when um, Venus moves into Leo. So, you know, look at your chart and know that you don't have to feel kind of flapping in the wind wherever that's taking place. Healing is being offered to you right now for these next few weeks, okay? So that is your message, Capricorn. I am wishing you guys all the best. Take care. All right, Aquarius, let's see what card is coming out for you guys for this Cancer energy. Oh, okay. Well, nice, nice, nice. Um, Sagittarius also received this. Uh, so I recommend you watch Sagittarius's little blip, not because you're Sagittarius, but you know, I'm probably said different things in their video that I'm going to say to you with this energy. So because this also came out for Sag, I recommend that. Anyways, Aquarius, what this says is tears of sadness are now going to turn into tears of joy. And just like I said at the intro, Look at your natal chart. Where is Cancer? Which house of your zodiac will does Cancer occupy? Because I feel that's really strong where this is going to play out. If you are like 5th, 7th, or 8th house Cancer, um, you know, in your zodiac will, all about uh, some sort of romantic relationship, okay? This is where we're connecting. You're being prompted. You're being urged. You're being pulled to really connect with another person. And the reason why is because there's already a spiritual bond there, right? And you're feeling that. And you may have been resisting it based on, you know, your own life circumstances. But now that Venus has moved into Cancer and the energy is softened, it's softening inside of you. If you're single and you want romance, or maybe you didn't even want romance, you might find over these next couple weeks, you're like, oh, I'm feeling all weepy. I want to be connected with somebody. And, you know, with this, this says somebody is coming in. You will share a deep emotional and spiritual bond with another person. Um, it could be an animal that's in the actual description, but I, I, you know, for some of you, it is an animal. For some of you, it might be um, a baby, like you might be having a baby or your best friend or a cousin or a sibling, or you might be becoming a grandparent. You know, it, it could be a baby. It could be a friend. You're reconnecting with an old friend or you are meeting a new friend, or it could be a, all about romance, or it could be a job. All right, Aquarius? Because this is very generalized, you have to look at your chart and see which house is occupied by cancer for you and know that this is most likely where that energy is going to play out, okay? But it's a deep connection to something either brand new or something that's returning. Now, if it's something that's returning, um, I don't feel like this is like bad blood, bad energy. It would be more like uh, bad timing, just lost touch, things just didn't really work out, we weren't on the same page. Like something more along those lines, not, you know, the person that like stabbed you in the back with 50 knives and then spit in your face, okay? No, 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 I don't feel that with this. This is more like reconnection of just kind of loose ends and um, like timing wasn't right and it could be with like a friend a lover um, job and it's just like this reconnection and you're feeling good it's like you could re be reconnecting to your job where you may have been feeling fried and burnt out and now all of a sudden you just have this new energy and, and this new focus remember this will be with you until Venus moves into Leo so it's all about connection spiritually and emotionally for Aquarius over these next couple weeks and some of you this is about a brand new love relationship okay where you are gonna fall in love you are gonna connect um, so I will leave that there 
and uh, suggest that you also watch Sagittarius just to see what else I've said about this card because I really try to not duplicate what I said there and what I said to you guys because I, I do get a bit of a different feel for Aquarius with this. Um, very feels very romantic for many of you so that's what I got for you guys Aquarius I am wishing you all the best take care hello Pisces let's see what card comes out for you and I might need to go close my window because somebody's outside bumping their music and I just don't want that in my videos all right, let's see. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Ooh, Pisces, we got the hidden path. The marriage of spirit and matter. So, Pisces, with this card coming out as your uh, energy for Venus and Cancer, where you haven't been able to see the way forward, it's like um, you're being gifted the energy to align yourself. And in that alignment of self, mind, heart, soul, the path magically opens up for you. I swear to you, with this, it is saying to Pisces, listen, Pisces, how do you need to get yourself on point. Do you need to get your mind right? Do you need to get your emotions right? Do you need to become more grateful? Where's your focus all day long? What's running through that head of yours? What's going through that emotional body? Where is your focus? Because this says, wherever your focus, that's why you're not seeing your way forward. And you know, where this way forward is, is different for everybody. This is a very generalized reading. So that's why I highly recommend that you look to see where cancer is in your natal chart. For me personally, it's my 10th house, okay? So I know that all of this energy with Venus and cancer not only is gonna highlight the fourth house, but it's also gonna highlight my 10th house. So this is, what house is your cancer in? Okay, and in discovering that, and you might not even um, need to know that. You know exactly where you're blocked and you can't see your way forward and you don't know what to do, right? Venus moving into Cancer for Pisces is saying, listen, I will offer you the love energy that you need to balance yourself, to heal yourself so that you can vibrate in such a way that the path just opens up for you because the path is there. 100% with this card, it is there. Have no fear, Pisces. It's just a matter of you aligning yourself to the clarity of that. It's not even aligning yourself to the path it's to the path the path's already right there you just can't see it like you're blind to it and um you know there's a lot of meditations for free on youtube to help balance but i i swear to you if you just take some time to see what's really running through your mind and your heart all day long you're going to see where you're kind of out of whack and, and what a lot of your mental and emotional energy has been going towards. And if it's worrying about things, you know, I'm prone to do that sometimes myself. But this is what I say to that. Worry isn't going to change anything. You're just buying yourself bad energy. Like, that's what I tell myself. Is worrying about this going to change anything? No, I'm just buying myself bad energy. I'm buying myself more of this experience. So... As hard as it is, I'm going to distract myself with positive things, with happy things, with what I truly want, where I really want to be going, okay? So you will find your path. You will see your way forward. That is what Venus is bestowing upon Pisces while she is with Cancer. And uh, you'll just, you'll know. So remember, um, fire is action and Venus is moving into Leo next. So you will see your path forward through you know this cancer and then once it moves into leo you will be ready to act and move forward pisces so those are the messages that i have for pisces for venus and cancer i am wishing you all the best take care okay aries let's see what gaia is bringing out for you 
while Venus is in Cancer. Ooh, evolution. So on here it says Earth changes, climate changes, transformation. So for you personally, Aries, um, Venus moving into Cancer has the potential for major transformation to take place in your life. Not just in that fourth house, but wherever Cancer is occupied in your personal um, zodiac wheel. Highly recommend that you take a look. Um, since we have like these three big circles, it's like, to me, I feel like there's three major things in Aries' life that you're either trying to um, manifest or achieve or overcome or work towards. It's just like three different things calling to Aries. And with Venus now in Cancer, it's like these things are possible. Um, there's a evolution of you that needs to take place, like a, a shift of your own energy, of your own consciousness that needs to take place. But during Venus being in Cancer, everything you need, all the energy you need is being offered to you for that uh, shift of consciousness, that evolution, because it's transformation of you, of self. And 2018 is proving to be a very powerful year for everybody um, with all of this planetary movement and such. I Wow, that's all I got to say about the energy of this year. And for you guys to get this card for Venus being in Cancer, which to me is more of a nurturing, healing type of energy, this is more like, no, this is being offered to you because there's this big, beautiful transformation for Aries. And it could be that you're just preparing the energy while Venus is in Cancer because, you know, once we move into, once Venus moves into Leo, which is a fellow fire sign, that's all about action and movement and things happening, right? So Aries, it's all about transformation for you. The energy is being offered and, um, you can make some big changes in your life, especially these three things here. This energy will be offered to you until it moves into Leo. So where do you need to get yourself on point energetically? How do you need to shift any sort of thinking and belief system that might be holding you back? Do you need motivation? Do you need willpower? Do you need more confidence in yourself? What does Aries need? to successfully move forward once Venus moves into Leo because I see big things for Aries with this card, like very powerful energy. So, but it's up to you, right? This is just a general reading. I'm speaking of the energies being offered to Aries, but Aries has to grab it, take hold of it, and run with it, just like every other sign has to do that, okay? But for you guys so far, uh, biggest and most profound changes possible with Venus being in Cancer. So those are your messages. And remember, this energy uh, stays with you until Venus uh, moves into Leo. So next few weeks, I believe Leo, um, Venus moves into Leo on the 13th of June. So you have a couple of weeks yet to work with this energy. And, you know, Dream big, dream big, you know, and go for it because time's passing anyways, right? Why not do what it takes? And I don't care if it's going to take, you know, a month, five months, a year or five years. Time is going to move regardless. No matter what you're doing, time is happening. So you should um, consider putting all of that into you because damn Aries, you could be a star. So anyways, those are the messages that I have for you guys. I am wishing you all the best. Take care. All right. Hello, Taurus. Let's see what messages we get for you guys with Venus moving into Cancer. got the sacred journey life cycles family transformation so 
For you guys, this is probably the most powerful pairing um, with fourth house energy. So if Cancer is the ruler of your fourth house in your zodiac wheel, really powerful time for Taurus uh, in regards to family, home, your roots, all of those type of relationships. Uh, the way that you identify yourself with your family, your place in your family. Um, some of you, it could be about like, we're going to start having kids or maybe the kids are leaving the nest. Um, maybe some of you never wanted kids and now you're like, man, uh, should I have had them? Uh, it's just a huge, huge focus on family type of connections for Taurus with uh, Venus being in Cancer. Now, obviously, not all of you uh, have cancer as the ruler of your fourth house, right? So you've got to look at your zodiac wheel and see which house cancer rules for you personally because with life cycles, family, and transformation, it's like profound insight and understanding is happening for Taurus, you know, until Venus moves into Leo. But also with that, it's a time of like healing and mending and forgiving and nurturing and laying roots. And it's just such a pure motherly type of energy being offered to Taurus, okay? Especially in regards to anything to do with the fourth house. Like so strong with Sacred Journey coming out. But this is also saying to you, Taurus, that, you know, everything you've been through with every person, every experience you've had is a part of your journey, and every step is sacred, even if it was hard, even if it was challenging, even if it was painful, even if you felt like everything was all wrong and unfair, and how could this happen to me? This is the universe saying, no, my dear Taurus, Hear me, every moment that you have been, you know, physically focused in, in a conscious as a human being is sacred. Like your journey, every bit of it, there is not no waste. There's no wasted time. You didn't waste your time on any specific person. Every time you loved, even if you got burned, no, it wasn't a waste. It, it's all part of your journey and every bit of that has added to who you are today and expanded your consciousness to be what it is and um, it's for for you guys I just feel this real deep reflection and introspection about all of your relationships in your life and you know pretty much it's not like I want to hold these grudges anymore because I know Tauruses can be stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. It's not about grudges. It's not about being stubborn anymore. It's like I, I want the release. Taurus wants the release. Taurus wants the healing. Taurus wants the freedom. Taurus wants the happiness and the connection and the stability and the nurturing, you know. And that's what this is all about for you guys. So... That's what's being offered to you guys while Venus is in Cancer. And any relationship, especially family connection, can be healed at this time for you guys. And this energy moves with you until about the 13th of June when Venus moves into Leo, which is going to be a whole other ball game. But Taurus, pro found healing for you guys. I recommend you grab hold this energy and you know use it to the greatest and deepest of your ability because just because this energy's here doesn't mean you know everybody's gonna feel it like this. It's a choice for each and every person and for you guys mm, so good, so deep, so healing and just deep understanding about yourself and your life up to this point. It's very beautiful. So Taurus, those are the messages that I have for you guys for Cancer or Venus moving into Cancer. I am wishing you all the best. Take care. Hello, Gemini. Let's see what messages 
Gaia has for you guys in regards to Venus moving into Cancer. like this we like this and guess what right now we are in your season right it's Gemini season so um, with this we have harmony power self-confidence productivity so Gemini Venus being in cancer is like projecting this energy on you and your life creating harmony creating balance creating happiness this isn't even like you're reaching for these things they're just being offered to you they're being gifted to you from the universe like little angel kisses on gemini um you guys are in my seventh card pull so far and what you guys have is um probably the best card which is like happiness and gifts being given like manifestation not okay we're offering you energy to work on this or to work on that or to heal this or to heal that no with Gemini it's like here Gemini we want you to have a really lovely next few weeks um, Venus moves into Leo on the 13th so between the time you're viewing this and the 13th things sh should relatively be going well for Gemini Um, you should just be feeling good it's like you know the forces of nature are on your side and um, you're just feeling lucky and happy and um, you might even feel more popular and more desired by people than normal it's just like this sweet air of energy surrounding Gemini and it's all that Venus and Cancer like just ah right on you so for you guys I don't have a whole lot to say other than uh, it looks really awesome, and it's not even like Gemini, I mean, I know we're all working on stuff, but that's not even what the universe wants to talk about here. It's like, no, this is your time to shine, Gemini, so you enjoy it, rock it, own it, and, you know, milk it for every glorious moment that it's there being offered to you. It's just like the universe is shining on you guys right now, so... Enjoy a Gemini and happy birthday to all you Geminis out there. I am truly wishing you guys all the best and I see it's going to happen. So congratulations to you guys. Take care. Hi, Cancer. So let's see what comes out for you guys since Venus is in your sign. the moonlight which you guys are ruled by the moon right so wow very powerful travel romance potential cancer with this card right here uh, you guys could be offered a little vacation you could um, be planning a vacation you could be going on a vacation while Venus is in cancer all right this is like you're standing on a beach in your lover's arms type of energy, okay? Um, also, romance is very highlighted for you guys, which is interesting. I mean, I know that Venus is the ruler of Libra, the seventh house of relationships, but you guys are the ruler of fourth house, family, home, roots, all right? And Venus, she's in your sign right now. But for whatever reason, it's like that energy for you guys, for Cancer, is all about the romance. 100%, okay? We're either traveling or we're connecting romantically. That's what this is all about. And so this energy is with Cancer until, you know, um, Venus goes into Leo, which is on the 13th of June. And uh, let's see... We go into Cancer like the 23rd of June, right? That's when the sun moves into Cancer, I believe. It's like right around the 21st, 22nd, or 23rd of June, um, the sun moves into Cancer. 
So, uh, Cancer, I feel like most of you, this is either where we're feeling all dreamy and schmoopy about somebody, there's a new person coming in romantically, um, if you're already in a relationship, it may be like you and your partner are just falling in love, you maybe um, you are starting a family, and that's like what you're just completely focused on, but for cancer, I feel just so romantic, okay, I just 100%, you guys are the only ones that have really gotten this like super romantic vibe, so it's like, if you're in a relationship, we're either falling deeper in love, we're planning a really awesome romantic trip, we're creating a family, or we're just really focused on family, but it, it's in a nice way, it's in a happy way, it's not like, uh, we gotta deal with this, no, it's like, this is what we want, this is, we're building our foundation, we're building our roots. Um, if you're completely single, this could be where you are either deciding to go on some sort of singles trip or you might be planning to meet um, a new person in another state or country. Um, you could have more like interest and attention than you normally do over these next few weeks, okay? It's just, I feel like for cancer, you're very dreamy, you're very romantic, you're just feeling love and passion and, and sweetness, like nurturing, tenderness. So, wow, Cancer, yeah, you guys uh, definitely have the ro most romantic read. I guess I'm not surprised considering Venus is, you know, about love, right? And she's in your sign and here's the moon saying, oh, I'm just going to add to all of this. Yeah, so it's all about the romance and the love for cancer. And with this, um, everything has really good potential right now, all right? You even see that on there, potential. Every romance that is coming your way or that you are entertaining has really good potential right now, okay? So, cancer, those are your messages. I am wishing you all the best. Take care. Hi, Leo. Let's see what Gaia whoop, has to say for you guys with Venus being in Cancer. And now know that uh, Venus will be moving into Leo on the 13th of June. So you guys will be feeling the energy and vibes of Venus really strong next month when it moves into your signs. But let's see while it's in cancer the complete opposite of you which is water what is going on for you guys what's that energy doing for leo Ooh, nice leo this is good we like this card peace dissolving unwanted or disturbing thoughts so with this card coming out as the energy being offered to leo while venus is in cancer Leo, you've got to check your thoughts, what's going on in your head, and you've got to be really honest with yourself because um, any like anxiety or insecurity, lack of confidence that you may be feeling has more to do with what you're thinking in your mind rather than it being a truth about you, your skill, your capability, anything like that. So if you've been worrying about a lot of stuff, you need to you know, consider not worrying. Worrying doesn't buy anything besides bad energy, like really, and perpetuate your experience. Like worry does not change anything. It just makes you feel horrible. So if you're really worried about something, you need to tell yourself, this is not going to change it by sitting here hashing this over and over and over in my head. I need to change my thoughts because it's a choice, right? And if you're thinking about what you do want and what you do hope for that feels so much better than negativity, right? But also with this, um, the tender energies of cancer, you might receive some news and things in your life over these next couple weeks just might work out in such a way that it brings you into a place of ease and peace. 
And so for Leo, it's like if things have been kind of like up in the air, just stressful, all of that, it's like uh, it, just a nice few weeks of slower energy of peace, you know, where you, you do have the opportunity to settle your mental body down and relax your emotional body. It, it's just really nice, slow energy it's not fast moving whatsoever and i almost feel like this is kind of like a break for you guys because once venus pops into leo watch out it's going to be like a firecracker was lit inside of you right you're just going to be full of life full of passion full of creativity um if you've been like bah humbug on love i'm pretty sure that's going to change once venus moves into your sign it's going to be all about the romance and you're probably um going to just have a more of a charisma and a lure to people when venus is in your sign as well so this is like the calm the relaxation the balancing of self the recharging of batteries the healing of self for leo as well while venus is in cancer so you guys have the most serene and quiet energy but i think that's really because of what's about to happen once um, venus goes into your sign so leo relax enjoy things should really mellow out um these next two weeks and give yourself a time out if you need to to relax to unwind to you know detoxify and that's detoxifying from the vibes of the world of other people you know it really can mess with our own energy field so enjoy this time of peace leo um it's about to get really exciting in a couple of weeks for you guys so i am wishing you all the best take care all right hi virgo Let's see what Gaia has to say for you guys with um, Venus being in Cancer. What is being offered to Virgo? All right, so we have the Goddess of Creation. Um, transformation, creativity, wholeness. Listen, Virgo. First and foremost, with this card coming out, um, this is the universe saying it's time to settle down, relax, give yourself a break. Um, it's like Virgo is go, 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 really trying to accomplish something, really trying to get things done. But the universe is saying, nope, during this time with Venus and Cancer, this is all about you relaxing and um, giving yourself permission to have a break, to sit it out. Um, it's like if your creativity has really been kind of foobarred up, it's because you need to relax. You need a break. You, you, you're fried. Um, that, yeah, many of you are like fried. Your energy is just zapped and... It's because you've been go, 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 go. You've been worried about this. You've been doing this for those people. You've been doing this for that people. Like, it's like Virgo needs a break, needs some relaxation. And um, also in this, it's like balance your chakras. Do some meditations to connect with Mother Earth Gaia. And you will be amazed at how different you feel once uh, Venus is moving into Leo around the 13th of June, okay? Um, because this energy is with you between now and the 13th of June. And, you know, Cancer is very nurturing, very healing, very loving. Um, it's forgiveness. It's unconditional love. It's um, being solid, um, laying roots and... That's what Virgo needs to do over these next couple weeks with self and tell people no. Give yourself some permission to be in your own space and recharge your batteries and relax and don't hold such a high bar over your head these next couple weeks because the universe is like, no, it's time to recharge, okay, because uh, Venus is about to move into Leo on the 13th of June. And then 
right after that, Virgo, Venus is moving into your sign, okay? And when Venus moves into Leo, it's all about action and movement and go, 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 go. So relax. Let's take a step back. Take some naps. Allow yourself to stop worrying about things. Trust that everything's going to work out. Even if you take a step back for a minute, for a minute you won't lose any momentum. You um, won't lose anything that you've accomplished so far. It's just that you need to recharge. And also, I feel like the universe is trying to fill you up with some new inspirations or new passion, new creativity, new something. All right? So, Virgo, rest. There is transformation taking place in your life, kind of on a really big level. And this is just like the beginning of it. It's time to go within, you know, create a cocoon around yourself because you're going to be emerging as a butterfly pretty darn soon. So those are the messages that I have for Virgo. I am wishing you guys all the best. Take care. Hi, Libra. Let's see what Gaia is bringing out for you guys about uh, Venus going into Cancer. Ooh, we like, we like this card. Clearing away obstacles, protection, and guidance. Yes. <clears throat> Libra. This is saying, um, while Venus is in Cancer, this is a really flow time for you. Um, the energy is there for things to just work out for you, um, for obstacles to fall away. And now things where you feel like you're just hitting a brick wall, like you can't move forward, that's the universe protecting you. Okay, that's the universe saying, no, Libra, that's not the way. That's not the way. I'm giving you really good guidance right now, and that's not the way. So me saying that everything should really be flowing for Libra over these next couple weeks until Venus moves into Leo on the 13th of June um, should tell you anything that's not working, that's just like hitting a wall, hitting a wall, hitting a wall, it's because that's not the way for you. That's not meant for you. That's not a path you need to go down. That's not a door that needs to open. That is not the way. Follow the stream where it's flowing because that's the way for Libra. And with this right here, very lucky energy, a lot of divine guidance and protection. It's like these next two weeks, everything you touch could literally turn to gold. It's just really about you. Where's your vibration, Libra? What are your thoughts? What are your emotions? What are you believing about yourself? What do you believe you are capable of achieving? And I'm not just talking intellectually. This is like the core of who you are. What do you believe that you are capable of achieving? Because with this, Libra, you can achieve anything, truly. The energy is there for you. It's really being offered to you guys. Um, if this is like in your second house or 10th house, this is about money and, um, you know, career, meaning if it's in your second or 10th house, where is cancer in your zodiac will? If it's the second house or the 10th house, I really feel <clears throat> big time shift of energy where you can land a better job or unexpected money can come in for you. So look to see where, you know, cancer is ruling you, which house for you guys. And <clears throat> because that's where this energy is really going to play out the strongest. But overall, Libra, it's like things are just going your way. Like things are in the flow for you. And if it's not working out, instead of getting mad or frustrated, you got to say, mm, that's not my, that's not the, that's not my door. That's not the way for me to go. Even if you're like, but I really, really wanted this door. Trust that the universe has an even better one for you. Okay, with this right here. So Libra, it looks good. I'm loving the energy being offered to you guys while Venus is in Cancer. So I am wishing you all the best. Take care.
Hi, Scorpio. So let's see what. Oh. Well, we will go with two actually because this just flew out. So we have reflection is some energy that is being offered by Venus to Scorpio, which is illusion, self-examination, and distortion. So with this, it's like Scorpio's getting real with themselves. It's like you're seeing things about your um, patterns of behavior, patterns in relationships, just your tendencies. Like you're seeing a lot about yourself. And you're like, okay, I understand why certain things are playing out the way they are based on what I'm seeing about me. But more than just what you're seeing about yourself, you are also seeing things in other people that um, you really didn't see before. It's kind of like for Scorpio with this, the veil has been lifted um, from yourself and from others in your life. And it's just like you're seeing all this truth all over the place. And for some of you, it might be a bit overwhelming, but the reason it's happening is so that you can ultimately be free, right? Because the truth is what sets you free. So let's see. Um, I'm going to pull another card because that one just like kind of flopped out as I barely started shuffling. Okay. Oh, look at this. I'm thinking of you. Okay. A loving thought serendipity. Yeah. Listen, Scorpio. Some of you, it's like there's some changes that you've had to recently make in your life or um, like somebody you've had to let go of. And now you're just in this place of reflection, thinking about the way things were, you know, who you were, who other people have been to you. And I don't know, you just kind of feel like off in this abyss a little bit while Venus is in Cancer. And I would say Scorpio being off in their abyss it isn't a negative thing, really. It's like it's um, you've chosen it for yourself. It's like, no, I need to go uh, swim in my dark, deep waters where nobody can bother me, where nobody dares to come because it's, you know, dark and deep, right? And you know that you can escape there and nobody's going to bother you there because they're not, they don't have what it takes to navigate those waters, right? But you sure the heck do. Um, and, you know, thinking of you, I feel like you are really feeling somebody's energy. And um, that might be what puts you into this reflection. It feels very strong, like it's a very specific relationship since this is general Obviously, that relationship is not going to be romantic for every one of you, though I feel the strongest that this was like some romantic tie. Could be a friendship, um, could be a family member, could just be a, a situation that happened to you. But for whatever reason, really strong in Scorpio's awareness while Venus is in Cancer. And whoever else is involved, they are, you are also in their heart and in their mind to the same capacity okay and um we might be trying to mend bridges to heal old wounds things like that um i feel like that's what scorpio is aiming for it's like i want to put the past behind me some of you this is like um we're just gonna i just want to talk to you to clear the air not that i want to be back in your life or i want you back in my life okay there's some of that some of you this is like i i really want to make this relationship right and i want you back in my life but i don't know i don't feel like scorpio's too interested in finalizing anything while venus is in cancer scorpio's feels like I'm in reflection mode. I'm licking my wounds. Yeah, I feel your energy, but I I need to keep myself at a distance right now. Like I feel like Scorpio's really not trying to talk about their emotions to anybody. Like it's more like you're in observation mode and um even if you got like all this crazy emotion going on under the surface, you are not showing that to anybody. You, very interesting, Scorpio. It, um, I won't lie. This is intense energy for you guys for this um, 
Cancer being in Venus. But again, Venus is going to move into Leo on the 13th. And look at, oh my God, that's card 13. Holy cow. And I feel like that's like a big shift for you guys, especially since that's card 13. It's like we're in reflection mode. We're licking our wounds. We're keeping our distance. But then once Venus moves into Leo, I just feel like there's a, a change in Scorpio and you're on fire. And you're like, all right, I got this. Like, I, I understand I'm, I'm coming back to the shore and I'm good. I, I don't need to, you know, navigate these dark waters. I've, I've figured it out. And that's what I feel like going into your dark waters is like where you get your epiphanies, where everything does make sense to you. And um, look at that. I just see the sun and Leo when when Venus is in Leo. Things are just going to change for you. I don't know. I don't know. Scorpio we will have to revisit um, when I do the uh, Venus into Leo reading next month. But um, just work on healing you and seeing things for exactly what they are, seeing things and people for who and what they really are. And you know exactly what I'm talking about, I think. And if you've been feeling kind of weepy and mopey and stuff, this will pass. It's just you've got to balance this energy about a specific person so that you can move forward um, once Venus moves into Leo in June. So, Scorpio, those are the messages that I have for you. I'm wishing you all the best. Take care.